playing more main deck sweeper than explorer well if by more you mean one more yes i'm playing two verdicts instead of just the one set all the wreckage but i'm still only playing two verdicts i have a third one in the sideboard we'll see wandering emperor makes it that you like i think you'd rather try and win the game by trading one for one and then playing emperor into fairy rather than having to rely on sweepers and stuff that's my philosophy or mistaken Turn the great creator revealed into another elf. Ooh, look at that. Easy. Assuming I should just counter everything. I was wondering, Emperor in hand. Or not that scary, right? Treasure Vault. Rip. <laughs> Lair of the Hydra. Say so I storm the festival mana now. I mean, I'm assuming I'm still supposed to get rid of Nykthos. Probably just draw, right? Make a chum blocker. Do you get like pitting needle or something in this format? So what's my line here? Just plus on a token and attack Karn with both. So what does that do if I kill it? May exile it if you do put a card from a graveyard on top of your library. Attacking Wandering Emperor. It's kind of good for me, right? Uh, I can block. Wait, why are they attacking? Isn't that just a terrible attack? Should I Fateful Absence Elf now? Probably, right? Then I can minus on Cavalier, kill Karn, Maybe I should have taken a draw step, but I might need the mana. Not our Cavalier.
Got him. Hmm. Fortunately, all flooded. Here I've been nice this game. I mean the best they can do is just attack my wandering emperor with lair. I might be okay. Just keeping to block. March pretty good. Oh, I can just march the needle. I'm an idiot. I was thinking I was going to attack. Oh, that was bad. All right. Small misstep. Not thinking another two two. All right, I need to dodge one draw step and then I probably win. Nice. Turn to light. Make a four four. One, one, two, three. I mean, I could just keep. Oh, we're so in damage. Why not? Yes, I'll keep sensor. All right. Giga lag. All right, so stroke gust, maybe summary dismissal, cut dream trawler. Should I just cut the verdicts in this matchup? Just not do verdict or rip. I mean, I kind of want all these cards. On the portable holes, I want Fateful Absence. Gust is okay. That stuff's okay. The counters are okay. Wandering Emperor, take over, you know. Let's try it. We need sweepers. It's vastly different than what Pad does. Pad just has like a bunch of verdicts and a rest in peace. Their plan is big green creatures. Yeah, but all their creatures uh do something when they die, whether it's troll or uh or the five six. So verdict's like pretty awkward against them. I think you're just hoping to do what I did in game one. Kind of curving out into some planeswalkers. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe just rest in peace and verdict kind of goes over the top. I don't know. 
Oh, Harry would be mad. Harry would not be happy. Someone keeping a, a hand without turn one elf. Not mulliganing. Wait, what? They had turn one elf. They just don't have a second land, I guess. So they decided to... Uh... All right, pretty decent here. Just need to dodge troll. Because I have sensor for the 5-6 and I have veto for planeswalker. And that farewell, I just need to like live to farewell. Land for the win. Actually, do I want to kill their elf? Do I care? So they didn't play elf on turn one because they didn't want to let me use my mana efficiently with portable hold. I think that's what happened. I think minus on the elf is pretty bad. It's only good if they don't have a land and have a cavalier. Hmm. If I make a two two and then make another two two. Or should I kill an elf? Slow them down a tiny bit, but slow them down for what? I have vetoes anyways. I had also just saved a Wandering Emperor to kill a Hydra next turn. But I might get out tempoed if I do that. Does not have to play must counters. I'm gonna be stuck. Never being able to play my wandering emperor. Might as well counter it. I have another I have another veto anyways. Even if they're baiting. It's fine. I almost want them to play everything right away. Alright, verdict would be looking pretty good here, not gonna lie. Let's be honest. I think I'm going to be okay. I think I can afford to take one more hit to not get daggered by a planeswalker. Hashtag Supreme Verdict is training wheels. Supreme Verdict, Confirm Training Wheels. I'm gonna save Portable Hole for, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. If I take an Elf, they only have six mana. And I can't play my Wandering Emperor, seems pretty bad. Starting to look pretty damn good. Okay. That's annoying. Might have to go after that elf after all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, might as well. Wait, no, that was bad. Eh, yeah, that was bad. Because if they break, I can just play Wandering Emperor. I guess they have no breaks, right? Because land lets them cast Storm and then spell. I guess like an elf is a brick. Yeah. That was the brick. Um, 
I guess I'm just supposed to say go here. If this was slight coming, I'd be GG. I would have I would have foretold it. I would have been able to play the fairy this turn. I drew well, but this was kind of impressive, honestly. Because they they drew they drew pretty well too. I mean, I guess it's not over. But either way. All right, on a farewell. Leave them with six mana. No. Let's play to fairies better. Play the land first, like a Monson. Sequencing. Do I even care? I mean, what am I saving it for? Yeah, I don't know about Verdict. It would have been, would have been kind of good this game, I guess. Okay, let's not spew counters for no apparent reason. Yeah, it's ordered, so it works well with Portable Hole. Unless you have an artifact under your Portable Hole, then it doesn't work as well. Oh, why not? Yeah, it's not intuitive, especially I feel if you're like an older player. Because that's not how they used to like print these cards, you know, like. It's not how they used to wear these cards. Oh, well, that went pretty smoothly. Much better than in modern. Needs a little help. Triome, is that Niv? Play the league was a Yuri on Niv list the other day. I got absolutely trashed on like 06 in games, I think. Hmm, I think I should just cycle again. Not counter it since I have Deluge. Maybe it means I get to cast the Deluge next turn. Hmm. Definitely one side coming. Then I don't know. Just a land, I guess, to cast Delusion. Keep making my land drops. March. March doesn't seem like it would be very good against them. Ooh, second peel up rune. It's kind of spicy. I'm guessing they don't have a million basics, right? Probably like one or two. Well, their hand must be just all removal spell or something. That was a fast scoop. Uh. I don't really know what their list looks like. Let's see, maybe I can just look them up. Carnage, cards, 
Ant? Sounds like almost like the name of a game store or something. Their most recent finish hit in Pioneer are just Esper Grace Fang. Ooh, it does look like Esper Grace Fang. Let me see if I can find a, a nev list. Kind of stockish nev list. How many basics? One forest, one plains, couple. Thought Seeds Veto, Voice of Resurgence. Probably one Gust, Stroke, Dispute. One Verdict's probably okay. March probably pretty bad. Farewell's probably pretty bad. Portable Hole's probably atrocious. Fateful's probably not where I want to be, but maybe. Bar seems good. Why? What are you bouncing? Niv? That's free one flash. Just pressure them, maybe? Yeah, it might be. Oh, they have, they could have voice of resurgence, I guess. Voice of resurgence kind of a problem. Maybe I'll just keep marching as a catch all. Okay, I guess I'll do brazen bar. I saw about Yorion versus non Yorion. I think maybe no Yorion's better, but it seems like people do about equally good with Yorion and without Yorion. I'm guessing there's not that big of a difference win rate wise. Having better mana is nice, more consistency, better mana. Not the greatest hand. Not gonna cycle sensor. Ever since the fairy got banned, this matchup became rough for Niv, I think. I remember I used to feel favored from the Niv side against Blue White when you had the fairy. People also played Thoughtseize all I don't know if it's Thoughtseize is always stuck nowadays after sideboard. Even in the main, I think we used to play some Thoughtseize. Okay, why did they shock? What the hell? Flash fret? Growth spiral, maybe double growth spiral. Am I supposed to dispute that? I don't think so. I say was in case they drew a cycling land or in case they drew a second grow spiral. Kind of nice if they have Dublin's veto, I can just counter it on Nath again. And still have a counter for next turn. Alright, what do you think about that sensor? Ship has sailed. I think it might have. So that brazen bar could have been uh, fateful, dismissal, narset, the scarab god. Probably should try countering that. I could just bounce it for now. Yeah. That's Deluge. There's a Deluge and bounce it.
Um, keep Ottawa, and then I'm not too sure. Just a fairy. <clears throat> oh no, I can't let them untap, right? I was trying to not play into Dobbins Veto or make them use the man on their turn, but I can't have to do it now. What deck you folks recommend to start playing Pioneer at my LGS? I was surprised that dozens of people are playing this format. No one playing Modern or Legacy you know, it is where I live. Yeah, because it's like. Maybe just availability, you know. That means they, you know, that was smart that they made Pioneer. Okay, nice. Um, I would just recommend picking a deck you think you might enjoy. If, like, price difference is not a big deal. I, I always, I don't know, that's my advice, but it's not based on anything, just theory. I feel like you should just pick something you think you're going to enjoy and have fun with, you know? Even if it means it's harder to learn or it's a tougher deck to play, like, who cares? Oh, they actually... I don't know if they drew it or they had it. I could Verdict first. It slows them down a bit. One, two, three, they have six mana. Problem is if I verdict and they just slam a, a Niv. I mean, I'm assuming if they had Niv, they would have played it over Scarab God, right? I guess it's just a fairy minus. I think if they have Niv or something, I'm getting punished either way. There's no ways around it. It's just Niv and not Niv into a removal. I can Verdict plus Teferi and make up for it. Oh, looks like they got there. Did they really get there on the cycling? Wow. I needed a dispute here. Damn. I mean, they wouldn't have cycled first because not a good dispute. Damn, if I had a dispute here. All right, spinning the wheel. Rage opponent. Rage chat. Oh, it's not Nev. Valky. Hmm. Valky over Nev. Yeah, makes sense. Thoughtseize and Hallowed Fountain. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Damn it. Okay, so... I mean, just jam Dream Trawler, I guess. Just jam good old DT. Argo tried to delude. Did I keep in Fateful Absence? I did not try it. No. Yeah, I was, I was saying we knew they hit Thoughtseize of uh, Tibalt, so... Bouncing it didn't seem very good for me. Damn, they hit Dovin's Veto. I guess it's better than a Fret. Yeah, Trawler's not legendary. Okay. Ooh, Ether Gust, Ether Gust Field of Rune. Got them. Sick. Oh, they have uh, they have Dovin's Veto though. Hmm. 
All right, I'm going to lead with Gust. See what they do. So I can bounce it and attack them. They have only lands left and they want the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if they recast it, they can't cast much else. So it buys me a lot of time. I have how much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could bounce it and cast Wandering Emperor. That seems like a pretty good use of my mana. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Tag them. Very nice. We can bounce and field. What does field do? It it bounces to their hand, not not to their uh, top of the deck. Yeah. Just flip. So the fight over it, right? Why not? Hey, nice. Are you four and oh? Well, I'm smashing the pioneer challenge. I really like this blue white deck. I mean, it's because I'm winning too. Obviously, it's it's nice to win, but it was the same feel as an explorer. If the list the list feels pretty has felt pretty good in Explorer. That's pretty good. I mean obviously this hand could be terrible. But I don't think I can mulligan. Could be could be really good too. Hopefully they're just playing spirits, I guess. Or some dumb creature deck. There's not a ton of dumb creature decks in the format, though. Farmland. Farmland's kind of weird. Who knows? Let's see in chat. Who knows what my opponent's playing? Who plays Farmland in, in, in Historic and Pioneer? Band Spirits, Humans. I played against Celestia Company deck. In the leagues, yeah, maybe some company deck. Oh, angels! Well, <laughs> my hand is pretty good against angels. Rip, rip, opponent. I think I should field of rune. They might not have basic forest. Dr. Doomblade. Welcome back. It's like kind of Dr. Doom. Thanks for the two months, Dr. Doomblade. Appreciate it. Oh, they're stuck on lands. That card does nothing on its own, right? Should I show them the feel of Rune? Hmm, maybe. You should keep Field of Rune, they played a Faceless Haven combo. Wait, they don't even have snow-covered lands. Yeah. I'll let them play one more. I feel like it's better to be conservative here in case I flood out like crazy. Even though it does seem like this game's kind of unlosable. Because if they don't add to the board, I can just start making tokens and then use a spot removal or two, I guess. And that's a really slow plan. Let's 
somehow got my wish uh, getting paired against a dumb creature deck. Goose. The goose is loose. All right, that's probably good enough to verdict. Um, I guess I'll play Aganjo so that I have sensor mana. Old three four one. Don't mind it. Um, card doesn't do too much on its own. Could censor it. Kind of want to keep censor for company for now. That makes it easy. I don't think I need to keep the land, honestly. I think I can greed here. Because what are they going to do? Main face company and then I just verdict? And if they say go, I just counter the verdict? Oh, they have... No, it's a food token. I was going to say treasure and stuff. Oh, they actually do have Mutavolt in their deck. Okay. Good to know. Okay, I can cycle sensor here. Probably not gonna be super useful. Another two for one. Do they have anything spicy in the sideboard against blue decks? I'm guessing there's not much they can have. Veil is not legal in Pioneer. Is Mutable better than the 4 free one? I don't think you can play the 4 free with Temple Garden and Pathways. You have to be mono white if you want to play the 4 free. I'm just going to take the hit here. Because I'm actually like a little scared of company since I don't have a sweeper anymore. Just play a land here. I can make some land drops. I think even if they have multiple companies, I'll be fine. Are you just not even casting company right now? Portable hole. That's fine. Yeah, free mana, so I don't really want to give them mana with Field of Rune. Mm. I actually only have two verdicts in my main deck. I might just counter kill. Yeah. Just kind of clear the boards. And then reload was uh was deluge. I don't let things get too out of hand. Probably find a Teferi Wandering Emperor here. Teferi I think Dobbin's Veto is probably better than uh much better like they're not they're not coming back without resolving a company I feel like they put up a bit more of a fight than the early game suggested like I mean I, I guess this game was never really close but he's a veto they might scoop here yeah I 
Maybe I should restart Magic Online after this match. All right, against Thingy Verdict, obviously. Brazen Bar is probably fine. Dream Trawler is probably fine. Might not have worse cards than Dream Trawler, though. Definitely want these cards. Definitely want that. Definitely want Sensor. I want at least one Veto. Probably one is the good ratio. Raven Bar seems sweet. This all seems good. This too. I don't think I need a second Dream Trawler. Does anyone know if they have some uncounterable nonsense? Let's see if I can find out real quick. Some like weird card I should be worried about. Deafening Silent Portable, four Shaper Sanctuary, two Heroic Intervention, Archon of Amelia, Redain, hmm. Archon of Amelia, Redain, Shaper Sanctuary. Kind of makes me want Dream Trawler a bit more. I guess Shaper Sanctuary is more for red black. I'm not even sure they're gonna bring it in this matchup because it just gets swept by farewell. And I have so many answers to get rid of it anyways. Yeah, seems like probably the best plan for an angel deck would be to have spellbinders in the sideboards. Like just like Thalia Spellbinders, Redain. Yeah, I think one farewell, one dream trawler is enough. You don't want to do overdo it with the like expensive six mana spells. You just no need. Okay. Not bad hand. Trawler better than shark. I think shark's really good against them. I figure there's almost no way Shark is a card you board out. Anyway, anything I would veto? Am I ever really going to be able to hold that card? I mean, I could flood like crazy, I guess. Then I might want to go portable hold plus have veto mana up. There's almost no way I'm going to be able to hold that card given my hand. In before flooding. All right, I think I should just counter that since I have Vito for uh, for company and yeah, just slow them down a bit. Oh, I should have maybe played Field of Ruin. I know Red Lancer, it's good, right? It feels just, feels feels like home to be playing four sensors again. Feels just right. All right, small mistake. <clears throat> kind of nice. Turn four, game feels over. <clears throat> well, freebie. When an angel dies, they get a 1 1. Hmm. Mm. Grab myself a land, maybe a counter spell. Field of Ruin or Castle Arden Veil. Maybe Field of Ruin Absorb. But then I can't play Portable Hole and have Absorb mana up, but I don't really need Absorb mana up. Field of Ruin and Absorb, sure. It's nice to get the good angels matchup. 
lately, whenever I get paired against Angels on Arena and History and whatnot, I, I usually just get smushed. Usually feels like kind of a bad matchup. I could maybe let the first Valkyrie resolve. Just wait till I play a second creature to Verdict. Um... We'll have a delusion, my yards. <clears throat> like, control against Angel is usually blue eyed control against Angel is usually left sided. This feels even better than usual. Like the specific, like the specific list of blue whites. The one veto. Maybe I should have more than one veto since company's probably how you can lose. Goose and Angel is kind of crazy. It's probably good in some matchups. Could make another 2-2 two -two either way. I'll beg the link shows free veto, really? I'm sideboarded. Yeah, free veto in the main. This sideboard. So I'd coming in Shark Typhoon, I guess. Hard cast. Why well, you want me to lose the game chat? I mean, I guess this game's kind of unlosable. Let's be real. All right, all right. I'll I'll give them a chance. I'll give them a chance and hard cast the Shark Typhoon. <laughs> okay. Good. That isn't very uh very risky. I wasn't taking too many chances there. <laughs> what does Janar usually play? Grixis Shadow. Last Pioneer deck was a while ago. Quirks his shadow, and so maybe they're playing like Phoenix or something. I don't know if this hand's any good. I think it's fine. I can like march pitching a white card if I really need to. It might it might be weak against Phoenix because of all their card advantage. Because I can't counter an early piece of the puzzle or something. Oh, Shredder. I think I'm supposed to go... Hmm. I guess Holly's coming in to play tap no matter what. I could take it slow. I could just say go. It's not the end of the world if I give them one... Uh... Does Phoenix usually play counters in the main deck? Maybe I should kill it now. I'm not gonna censor anything great. Maybe I should have done it before. Does anyone know in chat if Phoenix usually has counters in the main? Usually no counters. Maybe one spell pierce, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to hold on to sensor here. Seems fine to do so. Um.
I'll hold on to farmland. All right, already two minutes behind. Let's play a tap out game, I guess. No Phoenix. Duration in the yards, but no lands. Dude, I didn't even... I was like, maybe I should check... Uh... Yeah, maybe I should have checked before when they hit on pieces of the puzzle. They were probably so confused. That's why I was just jamming that in my main phase. I'm the worst. Yeah, I could be game losing. Lightning hand. I think they only hit a lightning axe. They have no phoenix in the yard. They have a whole of the storm giant in play. The dead's gonna find a trespass ride and kill me. They got charter course and hazards. Yeah, cycling that farmland. All greedy. Oh, they got a phoenix now. Phoenix, kill my wandering emperor. Kind of feels like game one should be somewhat trivial for me. I play will play well and draw reasonable. Maybe not. I had the spell pierce was really good for them. All right, am I just dead? Two turns, probably. I mean, I guess their hand could be really bad. Yeah, where did I go wrong? Cycling the land was... I think I didn't have either of my six card hand, right? I drew both six drops after cycling farmland. And then obviously casting the Luge on my turn was pretty loose. Let's see. Let's see if they can finish me off easily. They got Trespass and Treasure Cruise. How many turns do they have? Two more? They have two more, right? I'm gonna make them do that. I'm just, I think they have one more turn after this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You get game one. Faithful absence can go. I want the disputes. I want the rips. Probably don't want farewell after sideboards. Nice set. 
Prison bar doesn't seem super great. Matchup for summary dismissal. Why? For Phoenix? Doesn't really work. Plug the version you're on the deck. I think they're both fine. To counter the double turn. Up to rest in peace. With a sportable hood hit, Shredder. I need to keep a couple, probably. Uh, probably don't want the expensive counter spells. I don't know what top end I'm supposed to keep in. I don't know if they have disputes, so all these top end cards are kind of bad. I might just want all the verdicts. Farewell is fantastic. I have rest in peace after sideboard. And I expect they're gonna have a bunch of spell like a minion spell pierce in the gates and stuff. Sensor's good, I think. I think sensor's good. Really good. I'm not cutting sensor. Um, I don't know, maybe I should just not have Dream Crawler, just Alt of Fairy, just because it's one mana cheaper. I'm not cutting sensor against someone who's going to have pieces of the puzzle, Crackling Drakes, all these sorcery, speed expensive cards. Plus, I want to make my land drops anyways. The only time Sensor is really bad is against someone who's playing just a ton of cheap, like cheap aggressive cards and all the one mana spells. And Sensor is kind of bad there. Or get rid of Portable Hold because I have Verdict. And then probably just hold on to Sensor for now. I'm gonna play it now so it doesn't get spell pierced. Oh, I see if they have turn two shredder, it's a little annoying. Hmm. They've had my number so far this match. Okay, maybe not. I have Young Pyro. I guess I should have more. I should have all three verdicts if they're gonna have Young Young Pyro in their deck. Uh, this game's still gonna be tough. I mean, they have a bunch of crackling drakes and stuff. They can they can just two for one me a bunch. Also, I might just not draw another land. Well, that's cool. Cool, cool. Cool stuff deck. Decent bit of chip damage. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. How many cards is that? Four draw steps, two cyclings, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cards, no lands. Is this real life? Not even a dispute to counter their piece of the puzzle. Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line. Shock flew up. It was clearly it. <laughs> it touched key. <laughs> they just got another piece of the puzzle. Just have a decent bit of creatures. 
think I still win if I draw land here. Might even win if I don't draw land. Ottawara, you beauty. You absolute beauty. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna lose anyways. <laughs> Is this money up my life? We got consider and mystical disputes. Thanks. Yeah. Kind of looks like GG. Maybe not. Is there anything great I can delusion to? Ooh, they played Ottawara. That might be game losing for them. <clears throat> I don't think I can counter. I think I just have to hope they don't have a removal spell. I guess I have a, I have a verdict redrive to do. Is dead, dead on board. Can't believe how poorly I drew. Both games, really. I don't know, maybe they'll one counter in our sets. Any free spells? Sorb. All right, that was all lame. I guess we're due for bad draws. I guess I should have all the verdicts. I got punished if like, I should have had like less expensive cards in my deck. Ha 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 